time flies when you are having fun and speaking to my beloved Israel Brief community. If you are new to joining us, I'm Rolene Marks. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance and welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by these guys, Lay of the Land, where we take a look at those top stories that make the headlines here in Israel every Monday to Thursday. A lot of you tell me that you come here every single day to get the news that you won't see in the mainstream media in your countries. And I must be honest, I just love to see you guys. Thank you for all your wonderful messages and for sharing with me when you like to watch the Israel Brief and what you like to drink while you're doing it. It's a Thursday, so I might graduate from uh, a water to a whiskey. But before then, I want to wish all of our American friends a very, very happy 4th of July. And to our British friends, I know it is a voting day. I uh, hope you are uh, voting, having your civil rights uh, or, or exercising your civil liberties. And as for us in Israel, it is day 272 of Israel's war with Hamas. We are approaching a very, very ominous anniversary on Sunday. Sunday, the 7th of July, will mark nine months since the brutal attack on the 7th of October. We still have 120 hostages uh, held captive by Hamas, and I look forward to the day where I don't have to wear this because that means that every single one of them has come home. So let's take a look at today's top stories and throughout the course of the day, 200 rockets and 20 drones have been fired by Hezbollah, another Iranian-sponsored proxy, into Israeli sovereign territory. At the moment, firefighters are putting out massive blazes across parts of northern Israel. The IDF said that many of the rockets were intercepted by the air defense array and fighter jets. I just want to take a minute to, uh, to applaud our pilots, our uh, soldiers who man the Iron Domes and all of our air defense array and uh, for our soldiers in general for keeping us safe 24-7. But a special mention has to go to our pilots from Israel's Air Force for the extraordinary work that they do night and day in keeping us safe. It is believed that the uh, rockets and drones were fired as a result of the IDF eliminating top Hezbollah commander for the Aziz unit, Muhammad Nasser. The IDF is also currently striking targets in southern Lebanon as we speak. And uh, throughout the course of the day, we have also had rocket alerts coming from the Gaza Strip into Israel, rocket alerts around those Otef communities. So those are the, the uh, Gaza envelope communities. Those are the communities that were so horrendously affected by the atrocities and the invasion of Hamas on the 7th of October. Hamas has proposed a new hostage release deal, which the Israeli security establishment say is the best proposal so far. They are currently studying it to see what is involved. And uh, there, there are some sticking points. Number one is uh, Israel's... Uh, presence in the Philadelphia Corridor. Israel doesn't want to withdraw from the Philadelphia Corridor. It is of great strategic importance. And Israel's veto rights when it comes to those Palestinian prisoners that will be released in exchange for the hostages. Now, when we talk about Palestinian prisoners, they are not hostages. They are not prisoners of war. They are criminals with blood on their hands, many of them terrorists. And uh, Israel has said we reserve the right to veto which prisoners can be released. The Prime Minister is expected to speak a little later today with US President Biden with regards to this new deal that uh, Hamas have proposed. We have heard from some Palestinian officials that say Hamas is amenable to this deal. However, uh, knowing what we know about Hamas and dealing with Hamas for the last, not just nine months, but for the last decades, uh, 
It ain't over until it is physically happening. The Shin Bet has reprimanded the agent responsible for signing the order to release the director of Shifa Hospital. An internal inquiry or probe was conducted and the findings handed to Prime Minister Netanyahu. Now, the release of the director earlier this week drew widespread condemnation and outrage. As Benny Gantz, the former Minister of Defence, who is also the head of the National Unity Party, said that this is no way to conduct an existential war. We cannot release those that gave shelter and aided those murderers and terrorists who carried out the atrocities of the 7th of October. And his sentiments were shared across the political spectrum and also from the Hostages and Missing Persons Forum and the family of Noah Marciano. Noah Marciano was taken hostage from her base at Nahal Oz on the 7th of October. We have seen that horrific footage. She was taken hostage and she was murdered in captivity. Her body found close to Shifa Hospital. It is believed that she was killed in Shifa Hospital. Shifa Hospital was the site of uh, a lot of media attention uh, because Hamas have turned it into uh, a military headquarter. There were tunnels close by there. Uh, stockpiled weapons inside the hospital and hostages were also kept inside the hospitals. And according to the laws of armed conflict, the protected status of a hospital is changed when it is used as a legitimate military target. And finally, let's end the week on some good news and we say Mazaltov or Mabruk to Malak Fashatshe. Malak becomes the first Muslim Israeli woman to win a, br a bronze uh, medal at the European Junior Boxing Championships in Sarajevo. So for those accusing Israel of being an apartheid state, I grew up in an apartheid state and people who were not white were not allowed to compete in international sporting events on behalf of the country. And here we have Malak, an Arab Israeli woman, winning bronze. So epic apartheid fail for those accusing Israel of being an apartheid state. Now, I think yesterday I forgot about the audience question of the day. Naughty, naughty, Roro. Don't let the hot weather uh, stop you from, uh, from completing a very, very popular part of the Israel Brief. So our question also comes from somebody who prefers to remain anonymous. Uh, and this person comments about the incredible Israeli resilience. Well, resilience is our secret source. In fact, a good friend of mine wrote the book called Is Resilience? And, and we have that in droves. Uh, we are out there. We are continuing with our lives. Uh, we are in the restaurants. We are on the beaches. But if you scratch beneath the surface or if you look into our eyes, you will see a population still dealing with a massive trauma. But we are at war. And we realize that there is very little tourism coming into the country and that our country does not function unless we do. So we are putting one foot in front of the other. We are making sure that we support each other whenever and wherever we can. We are trying to remain as strong as humanly possible while dealing with our tremendous, tremendous grief and, of course, concern about our hostages but to not be resilient means that we have lost. We value life above all things, above all things. And I'm going to end the brief by toasting to life. L'chaim. We celebrate, we revere, we toast to life above all. So no matter how deep in our grief we are, we will make sure that our lives continue and that our beloved soldiers and our hostages have something great to return home to. And just a reminder that if you want more information about Lay of the Land, please check out our website and all of our original content on www.layoftheland.online. If you want to subscribe to our weekly newsletter, please be in touch with us via the, the website. 
We are on Facebook at Lottle Site, that's at L-O-T-L-S-I-T-E, welcome new members. We are on YouTube at The Israel Brief, so if you like this content, please click on the red subscribe button. Let's grow our, um, our community, but also our profile on the internet. I can't remember what the other word is, so I'm going to go with profile. You can pop the word, if you remember, into the comments section below, along with your audience questions, should you have one. And we are on X at Lay of the Land 5. Guys, God bless you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Shabbat Shalom wherever you are. Take care of yourselves and each other. And don't forget to join me here again on Monday for another edition of the Israel Brief. Take care.